championship placings. Angie Foster Coglu, South Melbourne captain, three good wins in the last three games. What about today? Oh, obviously it's going to be tough. Uh, Croatia up there with us, and uh, the good thing is it is in our hands. We have to win today, we uh, go top of the table. So we're all pretty confident. We hit the form at the right time, and uh, all the lads are feeling well. Boys all fired up? Oh yeah, definitely. You have to get fired up for games like these. So, uh, not many local derbies left nowadays uh, in Melbourne, so uh, every time you get one, it's good to it's a good game to be involved in there. Feeling a bit nervous about this one, Paul? Uh, I've been feeling nervous for the last three hours, to tell you the truth, John. Yeah, I never thought I thought I'd be getting too old for this, but obviously I'm not. Kim, you've scored some great goals in the last three weeks. Can you do it again today? Uh, well, hopefully, with, uh, along with um, Paul Trimboli and Gus playing so well and being well supported by the midfield, I think we, we, we should, be able to, uh, should be able to score as we have been doing the last few weeks. You find it a little bit harder today, obviously. Obviously, I mean, Croatia have got a, um, a good defence, but uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure we're good enough and uh, we're confident and uh, hopefully we can, we can go on with the job and finish them off today. Well, here in the Melbourne Croatia dressing room, you can imagine uh, tension packed, big crowd building up on their home ground, and it's a game that they desperately want to win. Alan Davidson, uh, how is the atmosphere building up to this big one? Well, you know, it's the biggest game of the season, and, you know, it's easy to talk off the field, but we've got to do our talking on the field, and hopefully we'll win the game. We're good enough to win, and we've got to show it today. Well, Francis Awaratifi just screwing the sprigs on, uh, perhaps a little nervously. Francis, this really has developed into one of the key games of the year. Uh, yes, it has. Um First time I felt nervous about a game for a long time, so um, yeah, it's a crucial game. And, um, but uh, I don't see it hasn't got really has a bearing on the championship because it's still another four games to go after this. So it's just another game. South Melbourne tends to bring out the best in Melbourne, Croatia. That's true. Um, in the games I've been involved in and the ones I've been told of in the past, um, they have been very good for attacking open games, and so I'm hoping it's like that today. George Hanna, you've been with the club a long time. What's the atmosphere like in the build-up to this game compared with in previous seasons? The game today compares only with the cup finals we've been in. And even at that, there's only one game I can remember in the eight years it was the Buffalo Cup final, 86 against South Melbourne again, that Olympic Park. But the atmosphere this week's been tremendous around the club and it carries out onto the park. So here at Summer Street, the big crowd is expecting a sensational game. Later, of course, all the highlights from the other six round 22 matches. But now, as the players come onto the ground, here's your commentator, Peter G. And the teams come out onto the ground in a very fitting manner for such a big game, led by this afternoon's officials, John Santa Isabel, Nesta Zachariadis and Barry Grant. This afternoon in Melbourne, which side will survive the energy sapping conditions the better? Melbourne Croatia name an unchanged lineup from that which beat Parramatta Melita last week. John Markowski getting the nod over Joe Chaletta on the left of the Croatia attack. Chaletta is on the bench this afternoon with Theo Salamides. South Melbourne Hellas also go in with the same team, that which beat the defending champions last week. And again, they're looking for a big game from right back David Healy, who will most likely have the job of looking after Ivan Kelic, who scored in the last two weeks for Croatia. And in recognition of the fine season he's having with the whistle, John Santa Isabel from Melbourne is refereeing in the biggest game of his career. Melbourne, Croatia in red, kicking from right to left, get us underway in front of their fans who expect so much from them. I wonder if that will affect Croatia, especially in this opening. South Melbourne, on the other hand, begin well. Peterson setting Salakis away. Here's Taliadoris in the middle. Well done, Miller. And just wide from Salakis. In the opening 25 seconds, Peter Salakis just toe pokes it wide. Well, again, it was Taliadoris and Salakis involved. In the last 12 games, those two have scored 14 of South Melbourne's 19 goals. Taliadoris denied. Miller just throwing himself in front of Salakis and the shot half a metre wide. So South Melbourne, a blitzkrieg raid in the opening 30 seconds. This kick from Durakovic, Markovsky. In the way was Healy. Back to halfway we go. Just the start we expected. This game last year produced seven goals. Victory for Melbourne, Croatia in the end. Danny Wright with the throw in for the Blues. Well, the question I was going to pose regarding Hellas was they built themselves up superbly last week to defeat Marconi. Could they do it two weeks in a row? 
Well, the opening certainly would have given them confidence. Free kick for South Melbourne. And still they pour in the crowd here at the Croatian Sports Centre. It's a hot afternoon for them as well, but I'm sure they're going to be entertained. Big jump from Taliadoris. Davidson. And it's Donnelly who's been penalised. Davidson asks the referee why. But the ball was gone when the infringement took place. Free kick for Hellas, about 15 metres outside the penalty area. Waratifi runs it back, as he's two penneth worth. So Mick Peterson. Healy is being directed by the referee as to where to take the free kick. The tall timbers up for it. Blair, the target. It's over his head and Wade, it's in! Paul Wade has scored! But the goal is South Melbourne Hellas's. Here it is from behind the goal. David Healy, delightful free kick. See Blair, certainly he was the dummy. And in fact, it's an own goal. Who's that? Davidson. Well, I think it would have to be credited to Alan Davidson. And here he is, Mr. Reliable. Well, certainly from our vantage point, we didn't see the deflection at all. No wonder David Miller was in no position to save the goal. The head of acting skipper Alan Davidson has put South Melbourne Hellas in front. His former team. Oh, sensational start as a Waratifi goes for Markovsky. I think we'll see a lot of that quickly taken free kicks this afternoon and here it is again and I think the goal will have to be credited to Alan Davidson Wade did very well to get his head to that Davidson trying to put it wide all he did was put it past his keeper Chase for Kalic, Durakovic with him good pace the sweeper back to Durakovic. Ivan Kelic is in a dangerous mood. Peterson. Taliadoris is free. He wants to cut it back for Trimboli instead. He was picked up by Davidson. Better away by Hannah. Good jump from Healy. Talayic from Melbourne, Croatia. They're trying to find their composure on the home side. And it's once again South Melbourne not letting their opponents settle down. Peterson's playing brilliantly. Touch on from Taliadoris for Healy. Davidson cleaning up. Well, they've continued on from where they left off last week. Alice, again it's Durakovic has to be quick to help the ball back to McLaren. And Awara Tipi was uncalled for the shove. An earful from referee Santa Isabel for a Waratifi. Durakovic is OK. Well, for the second week in a row, South Melbourne Hellas get underway thanks to an own goal. There's Wade with the header. Milosevic. A Waratifi for Adzic. Oh, beautiful stuff from Croatia now. A Waratifi. Too much pace, now Durakovic gets in, but still the cross, lovely backfield. 
No one there for Ivan Kalic, but both sides showing us football of class in the opening minutes. We've seen three magical back heels so far. throw to South Melbourne. Well, it's been talked about all week. In fact, uh, for a fortnight or so, this game, the weather has come to the party. The action for the first six minutes is not going to let anybody down. Here's Markovsky. Healy back with him. Here's Adzic. Kelic. Awaratifi now. They're spreading it wide, Croatia. Waratifi along the carpet, Wade in the way, but it's still Melbourne, Croatia. Andrew Marth forward for the first time. Blair, only as far as Milosevic. Waratifi, back for Marth, who drives. Markovsky couldn't get there in time, but it was a shot at goal from Andrew Marth. A deal start for South Melbourne. Getting a goal out of the initial confusion. Mr. Bowling. Too strong for Healy. Switches it out to the left. Markovsky, clearly better position. Talaic. Donnelly made the overlap as Talaic blasts. Adzic, the outside of Awara TV, well read. Costa Coglu, here's Milosevic. Surging run from Branko Milosevic. Kelic tried to control it, the referee says with his arm. Peterson for Salakis. The red shirts here. Davidson getting information from to go back to the keeper. Salakis, five goals in five games. Here's Hannah. Morbid Davidson and the keeper up for Croatia. Kelic is header of his game that is uh, starting to improve. He's got the height. And it's Mellis in control. Taliadoras laying it off for Salakis. Trimboli's in the middle. Taliadoras again, that first touch letting him down. We've seen that all season. The ball just bounds away from him. 
initially. Couldn't get it back on that occasion. Good strength from Awara Tipi. That's not a part of his game that he's noted for. And he beat two there, and they weren't too tender puts either. They were Durakovic and Wade. So well worked by Awara Tipi, who's uh, giving Hellas some headaches. Mark, lighting it for Kelic. Good jump from Blair. Here's Wade. Peterson was uh, thinking one step ahead there. Robbed by Taliadoris. Peterson can go left or right. Taliadoris. In the way was Hannah. Talaic around right. He wanted Markowski to attack the ball. Peterson off for Healy. Salakis, they're spreading it wide well, and Salakis drives into the side netting. Well, they always had Croatia stretched in that forward move, South Melbourne. Good jump from Blair. Kellich arriving on the scene, and Wade gives it away. Good pressure. This is Antic. Break over Milosevic facing Peterson. Under the left foot he goes. Good save from McLaren. The two midfielders, Hadzic and Milosevic, combining here. He was always working across to the centre of the goal. Franco Milosevic saw the opening. Well read. And then from the corner, Marth goes over the top. say apart from the goal Melbourne Croatia have had the bulk of the play McLaren had a good view of this preparing itself on the line has taken something out of them. It's Croatia pushing for this equaliser. Boyd did very well there. And Kelic forcing the pressure onto Kelic, onto uh, Blair rather. Give away the corner. dozen or so corners they've had in this opening half Croatia, they've gone to the near post Davidson again has come up unmarked he's going to be used so it's back for Milosevic Markovsky really going to get on the end of that The idea was there. That was a rehearsal for a successful uh, post cross later on in the match. Croatia, the bulk of this first half, no reward for them as yet. Certainly having the better of the midfield at the moment. Milosevic. That's it. Wade watching Milosevic like a hawk. Great try! Milosevic to give himself that shot on the right foot and McLaren didn't get a touch the crossbar the driving Melbourne Croatia and that brought the fans to life a booming effort from Franco Milosevic I thought that was it. Milosevic went to his right again. And that dipped just a little bit more. They would have been back on level terms. But still they look for the equaliser. This is 
right. Markoski has played a pushing run. It's uh, the ball just shown to Foster Coglu. Lewis is the man down. Oh, he goes on after Adzic. The ref finally floats it in. Kalic charges into McLaren, who was always in control there. Another good one here. Kalic, good jump. Makoski does likewise. Waratifi, always forced wide by Darakovic. Well, the crowd must be pleased with the amount of play that Melbourne Croatia are having. We'll have to see the equaliser before half time. Of the... 
feeling very happy about the way the game has turned Croatia after that opening heartache. him off the path. This time Durakovic helps out way. Waratifi and it's Salakis that has to head away. Very controlled at the moment the home side. Hanna continued on. It's Foster Coglu got in the way. Waratifi fine jump, confusion again in the six yard box, Waratifi's shot charge. Well, they're certainly getting their films worth this afternoon. Header away by Foster Coglu, Milosevic pumps it back in. Kelic tried to turn back onto it. Talajic could only find Wade. Overhead from Markovsky. Just goes for a goal kick in the end. And that was the final flurry of the first half. But for the second week in a row, South Melbourne Hellas forced an own goal from a Socceroo defender. Davidson it was who opened the scoring for his old side. But Croatia from then on were relentless and got their reward five minutes before the half-time break to set up a fascinating second half at the Summer Street ground with a half to play. It's Melbourne, Croatia 1, South Melbourne, Hellas 1. Things deadlocked, South Melbourne kicking with the breeze in this second half, get us underway. And that's Healy brought down by Donnelly, who acknowledges the fact. Paul Donnelly, so the best of starts for Melbourne Croatia in the second half. So how Hellas would like to start the second half as they did the first. Salakis with the free kick. Well, I think it was deliberate to keep it along the ground, but not the result required. Both sides unchanged from teams which left the park at half time. Croatia seem to be handling the uh, conditions the better. Coming up to half time, there seem to be a little more run in their legs. It's Hanna who comes forward. Central defender puts in the cross. The way was right. Marth guided that well. Adzic leaves Wade standing. Straight at Foster Coglu. The space. Cross in not testing out Bruce McLaren. But it's another corner for Renko Milosevic. Kelic. Oh, have been Paul Wade who's helped up there to get free for that header. She couldn't keep down. Wade playing game 150 down for Salakis. Cutting it out is Adzic. Waratifi set sail. Foster Coglu with him. It came off Foster Coglu. Corner kick for Croatia. there, 
saw him pleadingly. The man who was found at the previous corner. Right. Position on the near post. Far post ball. Good header from Ma. Cleared off the line. South Melbourne trying to clear their lines. They do so through Salakis. Adzic won't let him get clear. Here's Ma. Now it's Markovsky. Lovely weighted ball there for Milosevic. Adzic could have been used there by Milosevic. Healy got in there behind Salakis. One for Taliadoris to chase with Donnelly. With supreme confidence from the little man Paul Donnelly. And he finds a Waratipi. Just enough of the ball for Healy to find Peterson. South not really hitting back the speed we've seen from them last week. Wright tries the shot with no real conviction and mellowed down. Markowski to Lanch. Kelic has gone free on the left. Markowski spots Milosevic. Markovsky is Milosevic. Puts it back from Adzic. Peterson had a hold of his hand as Markovsky blasts. And that's nearly knocked over the club rooms. <laughs> Continued with a great deal of force behind it. Well out over the crowd. But first touch passing, Markovsky. Soaking with perspiration. It's Adjic for Croatia. He's looking unaffected as he finds a Waratipi. What a ball! Oh, and McLaren was in the right place. Good, powerful shot from a Waratipi. And look at that. He looked up before he passed, knew where a Waratipi would be. And McLaren knew where the shot would come from. Well done by Wright. Here's Peterson. It's continued through the middle. Queenslander sets sail. Talaic trying to wrestle him back. Davidson brings him down about 10 metres outside the area. Good run by Danny Wright. Started his NSL career with the Brisbane Lions. Davidson not too happy about the decision. Just about every player in a red shirt getting involved in this wall. And Peter Salakis, pretty renowned from these dead ball situations. Santa Isabel's happy with the wall. Not that far wide. Grimace more than a grin from Peter Salakis. And this is pretty much as the keeper saw it. You see Wright get out of the wall and the kick really swung away rather than into the goal. Markowski wrestling it well clear to Kelic. Awaratifi in the middle with Postacoglu. Durakovic gets the free kick. tackles well. First touch letting right down. Well he couldn't have expected it George Hanna because he mishit his volley Peter Salakis. It's a corner for South Melbourne Hellas.
Wade comes to the near post. Came off Davidson. I don't think Allen agrees. Which way will they go this time from the corner kick? Right, back foot. Costa Coglu. Salakas. Too high for Blair. Costa you content to let it go behind for the goal kick. Trimboli's cross picked out Peter Salakis. He was free, hit it on the volley. I think it came off his shin. And Hannah, happy to see that ball go across from the corner. Adzic, Durakovic steaming back there. Who's available for Waratifi. The whistle's gone. And Peterson, I think, might have been shooting his mouth off. And Postacoglu pushing a Waratifi. I don't think the referee can be watching two places at once. Adzic feels a little bit aggrieved. Way trying to cool things down a little bit. Perhaps Adzic is trying to take up a position in the middle and Peterson is wrestling with him. Anyway, it's a free kick for the... Cool head on the shoulders of John Santa Isabel. Too many situations back. And now there's a pushing and shoving match. Well, these two teams have really got to be aware of the situation that the clubs are in. They're under a good behaviour. Bond of $10,000 both sides. And the players don't get anything out on the terraces. Now, while the referee is having a word to the players and trying to calm things down, one of the linesmen is flagging furiously over here on the right-hand side. And the referee is coming over now to uh, just have a word with Nesta Zachariadis about something he may have seen. Bruce McLaren is more concerned about the free kick when it is eventually taken. Did any bookings come out of that? There might be one here now. And it's a Waratifi that's being called for. a booking for Croatia. They've still got the free back to where we were about three minutes ago. South Melbourne Wall. Well, it's Davidson telling Markovsky what they're going to do in this situation. Adds it the strike. Trying to curl it past the keeper. And uh, in the end, a pretty lame free kick. Yeah, but the ball is running away from him. And he's... Now he has to go about his fellow defenders. Volosevic finding Andrew. Now it's Markovsky. How many times has Durakovic been there at the right time? so outside the area. Markovsky. Marth calling for it on the far post. Here he is. A free header in the end for Andrew Marth. That sounds up Paul Wade's day, I'm afraid. And that's it. Very little time played for stoppages by referee Santa Isabel. And the two top teams football share the points at the Croatian Sports Centre. I think the conditions really telling on both players in the end. Branko Milosevic levelled up the scores after Croatia dominated the second half. Honours pretty even in the second half, but I'm sure South Melbourne
very happy to go away from Summer Street with a point. Final scoreline from the Croatian Sports Centre. <laughs> 1.